Morning. Scammers are making some restaurants an offer that they really can't refuse, a payoff or discount, or they'll post a nasty rating in an online review site like Yelp or Angie's List about the restaurant or the hotel. So it's a new type of cyber scam that can really hit a business in their pocketbook. Claudia Count is live on, in San Francisco on this. So Claudia, boy, that, that sounds almost like blackmail. What's going on here? Well, Martha, no exact numbers on all of this, but anecdotal evidence suggests it's a growing problem because scammers know these online reviews carry a lot of weight and they can affect a company's bottom line. Some are willing to pay to keep those bad reviews from popping up, but not Sacramento restaurant owner Sonny Mayuba. He described how a patron recently tried to shake him down after alleging they got food poisoning. I'm going to do a scathing review of you on Yelp and report you to the health department. However, if you buy me a $100 gift card to Ella, which is a nice restaurant here in town, uh, you'll save me from doing all those things. And uh, to me, that was extortion. Well, he didn't pay a dime in that customer's post, while negative, didn't mention anything about food poisoning, confirming Mayuba's suspicion it was all made up. Legal experts say he was wise not to pay or file a lawsuit. They say that can do more harm than good to a business's reputation. They say the better course is to use social media to explain their side of the story and to work even harder to earn more positive reviews. Martha? Boy, you can see how this is a huge issue for any business, really, because one bad review at the top just catches somebody's eye. So do sites like Yelp and Angie's yeah. List, do they have any legal responsibility to fight these extortion attempts? No, they really don't, Martha. The websites are not responsible for what their users do, and they are protected from liability. However, if someone crosses the line and say they post something defamatory, that's a legal term, well, that speech is not protected, and that person could be successfully sued. Even so, from a business standpoint, Martha, it is in the website's best interest to try to screen out fake or malicious reviews if they want to maintain their popularity and their mm -hmm. integrity. Wow. All right, Claudia, thanks so much. Claudia Cowan in San Francisco.